Hi everyone, let's build a tank skateboard using this. Come on, you and I both know that I need to stay alive to finish the video. If it weren't for that, I would totally have... These aren't nuts, these are spacers! And now that I have the template, I've made a few measurements on it and I've used them to make these two parts in here. So let's start the assembly. We have the shafts, we have the idlers, so... The shaft is 60 millimeters longer than the idler, so I need 30 millimeters on each side for it to be centered. So, I've printed a spacer, which is exactly 30 millimeters tall, which makes 30 and 30 millimeters on its side. And one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, and another one.
But I think that we have everything that we need, so let's put this thing together. that we need to make, so let's modify the tool for it. Come on, how many of you have already commented that I should have used this since the beginning? Woo! It's
it's time to install the threads on the, the track. Uh, I don't know. But before that, let me talk to you about this week's video sponsor, Rayax. Rayax has sent me a couple of these Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth modules for this build. And this module is the world's ultra low power Wi-Fi module and it has dual mode Bluetooth 5, giving you the best of both worlds. Very high performance and very low consumption. I'll use this module to monitor in real time the performance of the ESC and the battery. And I'll use that data to properly configure the controllers and even do some traction control. I had a hard time trying to do that in the past, but now with this module, instead of guessing, I will have the info in real time and due to its ultra low power consumption, I won't have to worry about having it connected all the time. And this is just a provisional setup, but this has proven to be very useful already. So go and check the link on the description to get the links and more info about this module. Thanks a lot to Rayax for sponsoring this video. And now let's install this thing on the track. This is just the front track, so we cannot do much with it now. But I will, I will put it in the floor, just for the sake of it. It can only go back and forth, but for now that's, that's, that's cool for me. So let's go for that one last detail. Uh, this is only the, the front of the skateboard. This is only the front track and we need the, everything that goes on that side. That's not going to happen on this video, but there is one test that I need to do with this. Will we be able to turn? Let's find out. <laughs> let's will we, let's will, let's will we. <laughs> 12 and a half kilos just the front truck <laughs> At this point, I guess that you already have an idea of what I'm trying to make in here. 
This is the front track of the skateboard. And there is going to be a board between the front track and the back track, like a regular skateboard. But the thing is that as we have threads and this is like monstrous, we need this bar in here to access the inside of the track just to support the board. And just by leaning, you will be able to steer the skateboard like in a regular one, but of road. This threading here is mainly designed for soft surfaces. Snow, sand, mostly, mostly sand. So that is awesome because it does work. <laughs> so that's it for this video. In the next episode, I will have already built uh, the other track and we will work on the skateboard itself and assembling everything. And hopefully this madness is over and I will be able to go outside and test it. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to check Rayax links on the description. Thanks a lot to Rayax for sponsoring this video. And thanks a lot to all my Patreon supporters to make all of this possible. Thank you. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. And now please go and make something!